Hi. Uh, today was a banner day in my household. I received my first Geiger counter. No kidding. It's actually a Geiger counter. It's called the uh, UNDX uh, Pocket Geiger counter, and it's exactly what it is. See a little uh, brassy looking thing over here. It's a Geiger Mueller tube. Works like any other Geiger Mueller tube. It detects beta and gamma radiation. Um, gives a readout in microsieverts per hour and millirentgens per hour. And um, it's pretty neat. It came with this, which is a radioactive sample. You can actually see that radioactive material. It's uh, actually just uranium ore. It's pretty hot. I'm going to turn this thing on over here, away from all sources of radiation that I have. I have a few. Let's see what background is. Let's see if we can hear it. It'll take. Anytime. Come on. Take for me. Maybe not. That just means that it's not very radioactive over here. But that's cool. There went one. It's going to detect a few uh, counts per minute. Just kind of background. We get it over here next to radiation source. Yeah, that's cool. It, it does go, man. It's it's pretty impressive. It's pretty sensitive. It's surprisingly sensitive. Um, fix that up. It's just a simple analog scale. Nothing extraordinary. It's just to tell you if something's radioactive or not. It's not very sensitive. It's not very expensive. It costs about $160, which is nice. These are some shot glasses I picked up from Liddy Glass for about $0.50 cents a piece. As you can see, they're not radioactive. But the same cannot be said for that. That big green going thing over there is my uranium glass collection. Very proud of it. I do love it. It's called uranium glass, canary glass, custard glass, Burmese glass. You see a few pieces over here. Three of these were owned by my grandmother. You have, uh, I'm just going to put this fella right here. This is a uh, measuring cup and juicer combination owned by my grandmother. This is actually utilitarian. Uh, it's meant to be used in the kitchen. It's called depression glass. Uh, depression glass was a very cheap glass product made from uh, pressed glass. And it was used, as the name says, in the depression uh, before Tupperware was invented. Uh, it's a cheap kitchenware. This is a flat wick lamp. Uh, this thing, this is nice. I like this thing. It's actually kind of rare. I haven't seen another one in uranium glass. I'm sure that there are a lot out there. I just haven't seen any. This is a refrigerator dish. It's pretty far away from the UV light, but you can see it glows. Obviously, uh, this stuff <laughs> isn't normal. It uh, contains uranium dioxide up to about 2% by weight, and that makes it glow whenever UV light strikes. It also makes it register on a Geiger counter. These other pieces here are, uh, this is called custard glass, this and this. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like when the light's off. It's actually pretty neat. It's like regular old green glass, man. I mean, nothing really extraordinary about this stuff. And you've probably walked past 100 pieces of this in antique stores, flea markets, your grandma's house. It's really kind of nondescript. It has kind of a weird lime green glow or lime green color, rather, but nothing extraordinary. I'm going to turn this UV light on, though. And Again, you see it has a really strong glow. At night, when I turn this stuff on, it lights up the whole house. No kidding. It is my nightlight. There are no other sources of light in my house. I also try not to open the doors at night when this stuff is glowing because it attracts every moth you know, in creation. There's some other pieces here I didn't point out earlier. Uh, this and this right here. This is Charlotte. She made by Rosso Glass somewhere in the 1980s. Could have been more recent. I don't know. This right here, I have no idea who made it. It's a vase of some description. Uh, again, custard glass, just like Charlotte. And uh, it's pretty hot. We'll see that later. This, my lovely assistant picked up. This is actually Fenton. It's uh, um, Burmese glass is what they call it. Very nice stuff. Very attractive. This is another piece of Fenton art glass over here. This is a little kitty. This is new. And this in the back here was uh, given to me by my mother on my birthday. So we're going to whip out our handy-dandy Geiger counter. And we're going to take a reading. First, I'm going to get it away from all this stuff again. Let me see. Just kind of ticks. Nothing extraordinary. Just background. As we get closer. 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 Oh, yeah. Pretty good stuff. The Burmese glass isn't as hard as I thought it'd be. 
Charlotte's kind of hot. I think I'll call her Hot Charlotte from now on. This, this is kind of a weird piece. The actual measuring cut part is kind of warm, but the top of it, not so much. And they are the same glass. The, the juicer part actually does glow. I know it has uranium in it. Kitty here. Nice and hot. Oh, yeah. The lamp, not so much. And this, not so much. You have to wonder why the later stuff is so radioactive compared to the older stuff. And I think it was kind of an economy thing. You know, depression glass was, by definition, made during the Depression. Obviously, it's uh, they're not going to use a lot of really expensive uranium ore, you know. So uh, they probably put a little bit less in it. Anyway, this is my collection. I'm very fond of it. It's my nightlight, and I'm always looking for something else. It's a great collector's item. It really is. It's pretty cheap stuff, and and that's why it's so impressive. I know this juicer doesn't, or this uh, that this uh, rather refrigerator dish doesn't look too hot right now. But if you put it over there, see it glows. I just have it away because well, I have better things to put in front of the black light. So I'm just gonna press that up there. And there we go. Granium glass. Pocket Geiger counter. Really cool. I am a big fan. Uh, thanks for looking at my video. If, if you watch this, I really do appreciate it. You leave comments. I appreciate it more. Um, you guys have a good time and be seeing you around. Bye.